spinal fracture is a break in one of the bones in the back. They're commonly known as vertebral compression fractures. When a bone in the back breaks, kind of like this model here, what happens is the weight of the body pushes the bone down. And so instead of having kind of a square profile, the bone ends up being wedge-shaped or flattened. The main symptom from a vertebral compression fracture is obviously pain. Pain right in the middle of the back. It's usually worse with standing, lifting, rolling over in bed, those sorts of activities. The problem with compression fractures also is that it can cause deformity. So people end up with a dowager's hump or humpback deformity, and that makes walking, breathing, other activities like that more difficult. The main risk factor for a vertebral compression fracture is osteoporosis. And so the patient population that we see that has vertebral compression fractures are the elderly. Pretty much any kind of thing can cause a fracture, but usually it's a fall, a slip and fall to the ground. Some folks have bones so thin though that even a hard sneeze can cause a broken bone in the back. The other cause that we see is because of cancer. People can develop tumors in their back, usually spread from somewhere else, and that can make the bone fragile and lead it to break as well. Well, the traditional treatment really was bed rest and narcotic pain medications. And in our patient population, the elderly population, that's really the worst possible thing you could do. Like the old adage, if you don't use it, you lose it. The worst thing you could do is take an elderly patient who's in pain, put them in bed, and give them narcotic pain medications. Surgery has been tried in the past. The surgery is pretty radical for a broken bone in the elderly population and really doesn't work. And that's why these newer techniques were developed. The way a kyphoplasty works is it's a minimally invasive image-guided procedure. So we use an x-ray machine to guide the way so we know what we're doing inside the body. Under sedation, we place the patient on their stomach, we numb up the skin, and then we take a pair of needles that we put into the broken bone through the back. Through those needles, we can use some orthopedic balloons that we use to elevate the fractured end plate of the vertebra to restore the shape again. After we take the balloons out, then through the needles we instill bone cement, which becomes rock hard in about 10 minutes. The bone cement binds the broken pieces of bone together so that they stop moving. It makes the bone stable and makes the pain go away. People uh, go home the same day and they notice that actually they can move much better afterwards because the discs in between the bones still allow the spine to move, but the broken pieces of bone in the back are no longer moving. The main benefit from kyphoplasty is pain relief. Nine out of 10 patients will have significant improvement in their pain. The other benefit is that it fixes the broken bone and so that it can start healing, reduces the deformity in the spine. So it just generally allows people to get back to their lifestyle again, eating right, taking care of their activities of daily living and getting off the narcotic pain medications. For more information about this physician or to schedule an appointment, please call our referral line or visit notbiggerjustbetterhealth.com.